Well, the second sled I had bought, I sold it the next day just for a hundred dollar profit really quick. And then I went and picked this thing up for a hundred dollars less than I had bought that for. And this is a four year newer version of it. It's an O2 Arctic Cat ZR500. It's in pretty solid condition minus the seat cover, but it's all right. I don't really mind the seat cover. Hand warmers work, thumb, thumb warmer works, lights work, speedo does not work. But um, I mean, it runs pretty solid. It's got a can, pop the, pop the little hood for you. Snow is really deep here, I keep falling in. Uh, me and my girlfriend had this thing out on the trails today. And uh, it took quite a bit to bury it. I mean, we got, we have quite a bit of snow. As you can kind of see and uh it was it was awesome there you can see the can here i don't know what the fuck what it is but nothing performance wise just aftermarket cheap but brake looks pretty decent it's not really too rough i just i did have to use the spur belt though we got we did get buried once and it was very deep and we were i was romping on her to get out and um the clutch the secondary clutch bushing is shot, so it, it'll go back and forth a little bit. So all that extra romping on it and wearing on it. And the belt that was on it was very old. It was really bad. But it had a brand new spare. Which I put on. Um, but this guy, you can't tell. You can kind of see the bushing's bad. This one's, this one's fine. But there's a little bit of old belt right there. Got some spare spark plugs here. They're old. I don't even know if I would use those. But I do want to pull these plugs and replace them. Actually, probably today. It's got NGK plug or uh, wires. I just kind of want to go over everything. That was off, so that's not really good. But um, yeah, the old belt absolutely shredded. So got this new one on. And I'm looking into new uh, secondary clutches here. They're about 250 bucks. Uh, there's a couple salvage yards that have really good ones um, that can ship to me. They're in my state, but they'll ship and they're around. They want like 80 bucks. And it's just, you just pull this bolt and it comes off. So otherwise everything's good. <sighs> pretty solid, pretty clean. No oil leaks or nothing. But uh, I do want to replace these spark plugs. They look pretty old. So, and then again, I could, hmm. would you look at that little tool kit? Didn't even look in here. So that one old, definitely don't want to use those. I mean, you could, they're like replacement ones, but that one's got oil on her. I wonder if the ones in it got oil on them. I don't know. The sled was 900 bucks, so I'm not too worried. That plug I would not ever use. I don't know why that's even in there. We're gonna swap that out with this guy. <laughs> but uh, got a little kit, little kit there. Kind of cool. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna fire it up here so you can hear it run. A lot of you guys don't care about sleds, but some of you guys do, like me. I'm just starting to learn them. But I do want to plug in my speedometer cable so i'm gonna kind of probably figure that out here and then i'm not good with small engines well i'm not bad with them i just never really dealt with them much kind of get all this fuzz out of here i don't like that but yeah kind of mess a little bit and then we'll actually i'm gonna fire it up right now while it's cold so you guys can see how good it starts it's a good running sled for sure he probably could use a tune-up but i mean nothing crazy Gotta keep falling in. Yeah, basically just turn the key on. Starts up. 